Hi everyone, Father Lamb here, and it's Wednesday again, Wednesday, July 3rd, and it's the Feast of St. Thomas. St. Thomas the Apostle, St. Thomas sometimes known as the Doubter. And I'm here at BVM, and I uh, just wanted to mention that things, you know, are going to be a little hectic for a few weeks at Queenship. We're going to be doing some painting there and some electrical work and putting the tabernacle in the center. It's going to be take about six weekends that we won't be in our church. We're going to be down at our gym. So this weekend will be a queenship, July 6th and 7th, but the following weekend, July 17th and 18th, uh, we're going to be in a gym for the first time. So just mark your calendars. So starting this Monday, which is July 8th, for the next six weeks, all of our daily masses will be at BVM, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? So uh, let's just kind of pray our way through this. As they say, you know, temporary inconvenience, permanent improvement. So um, I guess now thinking about this talk or this little reflection today, you know, Thomas the Doubter is always a good one for us to meditate on. And um, we all struggle with doubt in our lives, you know. Thomas said, I won't believe until I touch, you know, the handprints, you know. And, and Jesus responding, blessed are they, they who have not seen and yet believe. You know, I guess the opposite of doubt would be faith or trust. And um, also in light of uh, yesterday's reading, yesterday's reading was Jesus asleep on the boat. And, you know, the storm comes up and the apostles are like, we're perishing, Lord, wake up. And Jesus wakes up and he stills the storm. We heard that same reading a few weeks ago, Mark's gospel. And uh, yesterday we heard it in, in Matthew's gospel. And with that, we have that sense of fear that the disciples feel. And we all have fear in our lives. And if you take this to the global sense, there's a lot of fear in our world, right? One could argue that the whole nuclear arms race is all about fear. A country gets a hold of the nuclear weapons, they can blow up our whole country completely. So we get more uh, nuclear weapons, fill up our arsenals, we can blow you up two times over. Oh, that's great, now we're gonna get more and we're gonna blow you up five times. You see how it goes. And it's not very comforting, is it? <laughs> and it's all fear-based. In fact, all of ter terrorism is all fear-based. How do we move from fear into trust? We really don't trust our enemies. We don't trust uh, people in other countries and different governments and whatnot. Sometimes we don't trust our own government. The roots of all of this are inside our own hearts. Fear and trust, right inside here. The disciples experienced fear in that boat. The storm was going, they think we're gonna be killed. So what did they do? They woke up Jesus and Jesus stilled the storm. You and I need to awaken inside our own hearts uh, faith and trust in God. When you and I are experiencing fear in our lives, which is very human, very normal, we need to invite God into that. And it's not always easy, but how often in our lives, if you really take a look at your in your own heart, how often we make decisions out of fear. You know, it's like, I'm doing this because I'm afraid of this. I'm doing this because I'm afraid of this. And we don't do it out of a sense of this may be God's will for my life or this is what I trust is the right decision because we're so filled with fear. Maybe this week or we can begin by looking at our own hearts and first of all, be in touch with the fear. Fear is part of being human. We fear things. But then we have to invite God into that. That's the key to invite God in to say, you know, God has his will for me and his will for me in the end is what's best for me. Sometimes I wonder if we really even trust God's will. Do you trust God's will in your life? And sometimes I think, well, if I really do God's will, it's gonna involve the cross, it's gonna be suffering, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> well, sometimes it is the cross, but sometimes it is suffering. But in the end, God's will is always good for us. Even if we go through some suffering, that's something to purify us and to deepen us. So rather than fight that cross, fight that suffering that may be coming our way that God is inviting us into for our own purification and our own spiritual growth, instead of fighting it, trust God. It always comes down to inviting Jesus in. So this week, when you experience fear in your life, and I experience fear in my life, Instead of letting the fear take over, stop and picture Jesus in the boat of your life and just wake him up. And trust is really about sort of diving in the ocean of life and trusting that underneath that water are the everlasting arms of God ready to embrace us. That's what trust is. But you and I have to dive into the water. God bless you.